The next one, show that the points A, B, C with position vector A is equal to 3i minus 4j minus 4k, B is equal to 2i minus j plus k and C is equal to i minus 3j minus 5k respectively form the vertices of a right angle triangle. Right angle triangle means one angle will be 90 degree. As soon as we see the right triangle, the theorem which comes to our mind is Pythagoras theorem. Is it? Pythagoras theorem says that hypotenuse square is equal to base square plus altitude square. So here also we are going to check whether the given sides satisfies this condition. Okay, so what we will do is, since the vector is given, if I am naming the side as ABC, AB is the vector, isn't it? So to find the side, what we have to do is calculate the magnitude of the vector. So what we will do is, we will find the vector AB, vector BC and also vector AC. Then we will find the magnitude of each one, modulus of vector AB, magnitude of vector BC and also magnitude of vector AC. Then we will check whether these three satisfies this condition. Okay, side square is equal to sum of the squares of the sides of the other two. So we will find the vector for the three sides and we will calculate its magnitude and check whether they are satisfying the Pythagoras theorem or not. So moving with the vector AB. Vector AB is position vector of B minus position vector of A. Position vector of B is given as 2i minus j plus k. And position vector of A is 3i minus 4j minus 4k. So what we can do 2i minus j plus k minus 3i minus 4j minus 4k. So, that, so what will be the value 2i minus 3i is minus i. Minus j minus minus 4j gives you plus 3j. Again, k minus minus 4k gives you plus 5k. So, we are getting vector AB as minus i plus 3j minus plus 5k. BC, BC is position vector of C minus position vector of B. i minus 2i gives you minus i. Minus 3j minus minus j gives you minus 2j. Minus 5k minus k gives you minus 6k. Okay, so what we are getting is minus i minus 2j minus 6k as bc. Again, we have one more side ac. ac to find ac, position vector of c minus position vector of a. i minus 3i gives you minus 2i. Again, minus 3j minus minus 4j gives you minus 3j plus 4j which is plus j. And minus 5k minus minus 4k gives you minus 5k plus 4k which is k. It's minus k. Minus 5k plus 4k is minus k. Again, we have to calculate the modulus. So, it will be square root of 1 square 1 plus 3 square which is 9 plus 5 square is 25. 9 plus 1 10. 10 plus 25 gives you root 35. What about BC? BC is equal to square root of minus 1 square which is 1 plus minus 2 square which is 4 plus minus 6 square is 36. So, 36 plus 4, 40, 40 plus 1 gives you root 41. And what about AC square root of minus 2 square is 4 plus 1 square is 1. Again, minus 1 square is 1 which gives you root 6. So, what we have to do is find its square. So, root 35 square is 35. And what about mode BC? Magnitude of BC square is root 41 square which is 41. And magnitude of AC square is root 6 square 6. So what we have to do again is just add two of them to see whether the sum is the third one. 35 plus 41, we are sure that it will not be 6. 41 plus 6, it is not 35. But 35 plus 6 gives you 41. So what we can write magnitude of AB square plus magnitude of AC square is equal to magnitude of BC square. So we got as hypotenuse square equal to base square plus altitude square. That means Pythagoras theorem is satisfied. So we can say that ABC form the vertices of a right angled triangle. Vertices of a right angled triangle.